Yo, yo, the Nard is here. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let me explain something to y'all. Like I said before and I said again, I support the CMA and PP tan tandem. It really doesn't get too much better than them two together, you know what I'm saying? That's some historical shit right now. Yeah, people hating because they know what them two, them two on some rule the rule the world type shit. Yo, I be hating on CMA. That nigga be getting that motherfucking money. But you gotta remember, he's a D Detroit player, you know what I'm saying? And them D Detroit players, they know how to hustle. You know what I'm saying? CMCMA, he know how to hustle. He got that gift of gab, that fast truck, blah, 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 blah. CMCMA know how to do it. He ain't fucking with me right now, and I ain't fucking with him. Who cares? Nigga ain't my bitch. I ain't sleep with him last night. But you got to respect his shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I always did every time CMA scream on me on here or call me a fat, funky ass. I just be like, yeah, all right, man. Because I don't be wanting to get into it with him. Some other people might be like, ooh, ooh. But you just don't understand. The certain amount of respect I always have for CMA. Even though he called me a fat, funky ass and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I always had a certain amount of respect for him. So I try not to fight. One time, I did have to fight with him. I was on his live, fuck y'all, blah, 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 blah. And he had to cut me off and block me and shit. But he pushed me to that point. But I never said nothing about CMA's mother. Because I have my own mother, you know what I'm saying? And I'm older than CMA, whether you believe it or not. I'm 54 now. He just turned 54. I'll be 55 in June. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, you not my daddy, but I still respect him. You know what I'm saying? I still respect him, and I always will. But when he violated that, every once in a while, he'll say some shit about... Biggie, Biggie Shorty, or oh, the bitch in the next room comment on this shit. Hey, the bitch in the next room, first of all, the woman that comment on my shit is my Brownsville neighbor, Dot. And I fucks with Dot heavy. You know what I'm saying? But Biggie Shorty, let it be known, I'll stomp a motherfucker out for Biggie, Biggie Shorty. So when he say shit about Biggie Shorty, I be like, yeah, right, nigga. Like, it's not like he's like standing right next to me I can roll his wheelchair and, and, on, and onto the D, Detroit River type shit. But I leave that shit and shit alone. And Philly Phil, the other night I was watching, I was actually on the train listening to CM, CMA's live. Because I'm more back in tune with CMA live. Off and on. I don't listen to the whole thing, but I be in tune with it. Because the shit be entertaining. CMA can make my work day go by faster. Simple. So I be in tune with it a little, little bit. And I heard Philly Phil get, in line, get into an argument with a female and shit. That, to me, I mean, I have my own beef with uh, Philly Phil. So I'm on my business. That's grown, grown from business. But people got to realize Philly Phil deserved more respect than the way she was being spoken to the other night. That's my opinion. I mean, if, if, I mean, if, if 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 I was Philly Phil, no disrespect to my man Tommy, or shout out to Philly Phil man Tommy and the whole shit. But if I was Philly Phil, Philly Phil be like, you know, my hair's real, this and that, this and that. Yo, turn around, show. <laughs> I can't say it. Say it. Say it. No. Show. Show. Show them that that ass. Smack that. That ass is real. Show them what an OG ass look like. That's what I say. Show what an old OG ass look like. You know what I'm saying? Because most of these young girls be having those flat butts and be trying to buy, violate, Philly feel. Show what a real ass look like. Show that ass, girl. Shake that ass. Back that thing up. Yo, this is the nod, man. Like I said, man, I respect seeing CMA. He's saying shit about Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Biggie Shorty. That's that's my, my boo. I got 30, 34 years in with her. 28 years married. Yo. You know what I'm saying? But... Part of the game here on YouTube, everything can be fair game once it becomes fair, fair game. At least he like knocked them other other people that was trying to find out where my daughter work at. Now that's some sucker shit that I'm gonna address real soon. That's some bitch ass shit. And then homegirl writing down the names and niggas from the 40s is are gonna spin the block 
I was in bang outs with them 40 niggas on my side. Niggas like Pabby Mason. I, I used to be out there with them niggas. So niggas know me out there. Niggas know me out there. Niggas know how I gave it up. I was actually joining that fat cat gang, and my man joined it. Larry, God, oh, bless the dead. I didn't join it. I was 14 years old. Them niggas wanted me to drug, drug run with 15, 15, 16, I think. And they wanted me to drug, drug run with them. And I didn't do it. But my man, Larry, moved from Browns, Browns houses to Queens, and he ran with them niggas, and he got killed in 88, you know, in 89. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so. I'm not worrying about nobody spinning the spinning the motherfucking block on me. My guns go off. I swear to my mother, my guns go off. So that's why I was trying to defuse that situation because I didn't want to disclose who I am. I'm a killer. But anyway, shout out to Philly Phil. Shout out to CM, CM, CMA. You know what I'm saying? Yo, CM, CMA, that's some sucker shit you be doing. But you fat funky motherfucker. But I still rock for CM, CMA con- content. That shit is some real shit. Everybody tune tune into that crazy ass nigga. The Nard is out. Peace.